name is Eva Burgers. I'm the executive director for a civil society organization called Go Home in Belize Alumni Association. Uh, we also serve as a secretariat for the CSO Hub. The Hub is an entity that works in the response of HIV with a network of smaller CSOs. Uh, we'll speak a little bit on what has been our challenges when it comes to the response to HIV. Belize is very multicultural, multi-sectorial, um, small country, but at the same time I think being at the platforms of regional trainings capacity really allows us the opportunity to identify um, gaps that relate to our country and one of those has been the systematization of work that has been done in the country to ensure that our indicators and our activities really respond to the reducing or the eradication of HIV in our country. One of the biggest challenges has been to really ensure that CSOs play a major role. We all know that CSOs really have a great impact and influence to capture the key populations which we serve that are not easily captured by the ministries, example the Ministry of Health. Um, however, we have built a very good network with the Ministry of Health to ensure that we don't leave anyone behind. Um, civil societies continue to play a, a critical role, a vital role, but at the same time at the national or regional tables we have just key entities representing these civil society organizations. So a uh, huge impact that the technical support the CRG has given the country has been to ensure that other CSOs or other civil society organizations can dialogue, sit on the table, discuss evidence base, um, our needs, um, the needs of the country, and align them to the national and the global impact that we can have as a country, as a civil society, as and uh, in collaboration with the Ministry of Health or the government agencies. Another key thing that has happened in our country has been that a lot of emphasis has been given into building the capacity and the network um, for future social contracting. And I think with the technical support, it's an, also an area that would be benefited from, from them and also incorporate that element of capacity into the smaller CSOs. Like I mentioned before, CSOs play an integral role um, in ensuring that these activities really reach the persons who really need it on the ground. But at the same time, we want that level of capacity to make sure that our activities really reflect the indicators that we have to report as a, as a country. Um, civil societies also have uh, a major role in ensuring or supporting the government to kind of like align themselves to the commitments that they have when it comes to serving and eradicating HIV um, within our country. Another gap that I have seen is that from Belize within the regional Caribbean platforms is that we see a lot of different issues, for example, machismo um, in Belize. However, in the Caribbean, larger Caribbean platforms, it's a little bit less discussed. So I'm kind of feeling myself that we align more to the Central America because Belize is really a uh, I would say like a melting pot of other Central American countries. We have a lot of people migrating to Belize and they bring their root um, learnings, their social issues, and those have also impacted our small country. But I feel so grateful, so kind of like relieved that Belize has been placed in both of the maps both at Central America and the Caribbean so that we can definitely benefit and learn from both um, strategies that have been happening. Um, Global Fund has been like the strongest response to HIV in our country. I think as a country we have to start looking at social contracting very seriously and ensure that HIV response is really something that the country can take on and make sure that we have the capacity to ensure that people living with HIV have a healthy and fruitful life. Thank you.